And locally comes word that the biggest New Year's Eve party in Long Beach is off. It's an annual tradition, but not this year. Charmaine Wilkerson is live with details. Charmaine, what happened? Well, it's the street party on Pine Avenue in Long Beach canceled this year, and apparently a low demand for tickets. It's not clear if that has to do with a ho-hum attitude towards the millennium or fear of security concerns, fear of security problems. What is clear is that this year, New Year's Eve will be very different, and it's, and it's not for the reasons uh, that organizers had hoped. Needless to say, we're very disappointed and and just sorry it's not going to work out, especially since we're only talking a couple days from now. Tracy Feinstein and her husband Charlie are stuck without plans for New Year's Eve now that the Long Beach street party they plan to attend has been canceled. We really wanted part of the street promenade scene. That was an important aspect. The owner of Mum's Restaurant is the chief sponsor of what has become a New Year's Eve tradition in Long Beach, the New Year's Eve on Pine Square event. A street party with live music and dancing. The biggest fear I had this year is wonder what the weather is going to be like. Well, we've got the weather, but now we don't have the people. Last year alone, some 7,000 people made it out onto the streets of downtown Long Beach for the block party. But this year, just three nights before the event, the organizer says only about 1,000 tickets had sold. It's an investment I'm making. I sponsor the event. I finance the event. And at some point, you make a business decision, and the business decision was, I'm going to lose a lot more money. Morris says canceling the event is costing him about $100,000, but going ahead with the block party would have cost him even more. We had 250 employees working just outside that night. I mean, ticket takers, bartenders, ushers, uh, trash people. Uh, you're looking at stage tech, sound people, bands. We had to cancel some of the entertainment. Although the street party has been canceled, there will still be a lot of people having fun along Pine Avenue. The restaurants and nightclubs will be open. The Queen Mary on the other side of town will be having its party, and so will some of the local hotels. This is Charmaine Wilkerson reporting live from Long Beach.